747. Yeah, yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Pluto Dine. And it's your girl Pisces, and we're back. We're back with take two of episode six, Freestyle Friday. Cheers to a motherfucking Friday. Okay, indeed. The last Friday of the month, so we'll take whatever technical glitches we get. We're going to roll with the punches. And because we're rolling with the punches, we are live here on... Actually, we're not live anywhere. Except for well, on Plenty true. of Fish. We're totally live yeah, yeah, on yeah. Meet Me. Shout out to the streaming world and the streaming realm. Yeah, definitely shout out to y'all. Definitely shout out to y'all. I'm going to adjust these levels a little bit because I don't feel like it's recording high enough. But you can keep on talking, little baby, if you like. All right. So, uh, what's up, 747? Welcome to Country Fan Mail Freestyle Friday. We did decide to go live tonight on the Meet Me platform as well so that we could give you guys just a little taste of the dope chemistry that my partner and uh, husband, <laughs> Clue the Don, has with me, your girl Pisces. So thank you so much for tapping in. You could shout us out in any comments. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share the... Uh, country fan mail podcast on the youtube and all of the, the streaming YouTube. yeah the youtube shout out to girl gotti um gotti yaddy 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 so make sure that you so. yeah shout us out <laughs> share our shit you know what i'm saying make sure that you put our shit out there and like i said we were saying before yeah shout out to girl gotti definitely for sure um we said before like even if you don't plan on listening to our shit that's completely okay we don't need you to listen to it but if you fuck with us, just share it so somebody else can listen to it that right? might want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be don't be stingy. Don't be greedy. Like, exactly. This is, this is, you know you never all know what gems your friends might find in the shit that you share. So share <laughs> our cool. shit like you share all of those celebrity shit and everybody else in between. Yeah, share my that. shit, too. What's going on, yo? Yo, yo, yo. So, yeah. So we in there. So, like I said, what happened was we was already live and... Um, the camera was not... Work. Well, actually, it wasn't the camera. It was our service. Because yeah. Because Verizon really been fucking with us since we've been here. So We're definitely anyway, having some um, yeah. service issues. So we pivoted. You know what I'm saying? We out here. So uh, what was we talking about before? We was talking about a little bit of everything. Um, we talked about uh, Monique. You talked shit. about Monique. I mean, you kind of... You contributed to the conversation. I mean, that. I just feel how I feel. I have my, my trusty Google available so that I could tell you that her, the daughter was more than just the daughter and the Parkers. Okay, like, okay, like, let's... <laughs> let's all right, let's just be honest. Like, let's just be honest. What else was the daughter in the Parkers? What was her name, Chantel? No, nigga, her... What's her name? Don't do that. Count, Countess. I'm not about to do Count, this with Countess? you today. <laughs> Okay, count. What else was she in? Like in the real way. I'm not trying to shit on her, but I'm just trying to use like Google facts. What else was she in? I'm I, I'm not gonna Google it again. And quite frankly, it I want, doesn't I you to, I matter. You to. She. I don't know off the top of my head. I can't Google the facts. I mean, and and like it was it was more so just to the because because what because full context of what we were saying. You said that yes, Monique <laughs> is suing the Warner Brothers. You know, you said for that it all was rich them. people problems. It is rich people problems, <laughs> but it's not though. But it is though because old girl ain't rich. How do you know? If she ain't been in nothing but the Parkers and they haven't got paid royalties, how can she be rich? Maybe she invested well and she was actually in Moesha and then she got the spinoff for the Parkers. And so I'm not going to tell you that again. So you think that she's going to pay royalties for Moesha but not for the Parkers? Well, everybody's getting paid royalties for Moesha. But you think that she's rich off that shit? I don't know. You think that a side a, a side character is rich she's, off of Moesha? She's a supporting character in both of the roles. Denisha, I'm pretty sure the person, only person rich off Moesha is Moesha. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Frank? Actually, isn't isn't, isn't the mother in um, Abbott Elementary now? Yes. D. So yeah, shout out to her. Shout out to her. Yo, you but she ain't rich either. That's why she's still acting. That's not the true. She's acting. like a whole Tony. Oh my acting. God, I think he died. He died? I don't know. Oh shit! See, <laughs> so anyway, he do look dead for real. Like, like in my mind, in my mind, when I look, I think of him. I'm pretty sure out there. I'm pretty sure he did die. Yeah. Like, you ever look at you ever think about somebody? And be like Betty he White. He do Betty look White, dead. Betty White been dead for ten years in my mind. <sighs> she do look dead. 
Okay, so okay. um, all right, okay. All these right. are the, okay. the types right. of conversations that you get privileged to when you get the behind the scenes for a uh, country fan. This mail. isn't behind the scenes, Debbie. We are actually dropping this on. This isn't behind the scenes. This isn't behind the They're scenes. They're not catching anything that's not going to drop on the channel. This looks very behind the scenes. It's for not me. behind the scenes. This is y'all. This is really what it is. This is what our live shit looks like. <laughs> 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 our our non behind the scenes shit is just it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what that is? Shout out to Clue for constantly making sure that we have the utmost quality of audio and digital availability without paying anybody a motherfucking dime. But in a real way, I feel like I might need to because that <laughs> mug, cause that man, that that damn connect. Thank you for one. Thank you. I want to say I appreciate that in a real way because I really do be trying my best. And but you the do way a good that job. that damn audio, I mean, the way that that video was looking, it was actually pretty fucking frustrating. Well, I don't think that that was your fault, and I don't think that there's anybody who can can assess with the way that the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi. Unless, of course, you're an engineer with Verizon Wireless, then if that's the case, at me. Lot. You can do a lot. That's P-I-S-C-E-S-P-R-N-S-S. -S. And tag her husband at <laughs> K-L-U-E-D-A-D-O-N underscore. <laughs> verified. <laughs> Big verified. We ain't gonna get into that conversation. We ain't gonna get into that conversation. But um, we've already covered that enough. You know, actually, but I will say something, though, just on that conversation, because I actually thought it was kind of fucked up. They took, like, Cookie Kawaii and, like, Dear Silas, they took all their checks. Oh, yeah, I and saw I that. that I also saw that Elon Musk was paying for, like, LeBron James's and somebody else's on Twitter. But honestly, when you're LeBron James and you're one of the top five google things for the last 10 years i'd pay you to stay too yeah well he way, didn't say he was paying them he said he'd pay the nine dollars a month for their tracks but that's what i'm saying though like they did nothing but a sponsorship they did yeah. nothing but a sponsorship nike pays people to wear their shit you know what i'm saying so it's like i feel it i ain't mad at it you know and and, and it's unfortunate for people like dear Silas and cookie kawaii who are parabolic in their own universes but are but they're not LeBron James, so it's like, and then you got country fan mail with like four hundred followers, and I'm, I'm verified. But and, you and know fuck what? Anybody who got a problem with it? And fuck your feelings you know because it's, it's a part do. of the advertisement budget. And if you're serious about something, then you invest in that something. If you're serious about yourself and you are your brand, then you invest in yourself and you invest in your brand. And not to and not to say that if you chose not to do it, that you're not investing in yourself because there's plenty of people who choose not to do it and honestly don't really need it right you know what i'm saying like in a real way you know those people that i was talking about you know how they how they had their they, you know how their checks taken away they, they don't really need it in a way you know what i'm saying so it's like hey cool that's your flex that's your flex you know what i'm saying and that's how in my personal opinion that's how it should be everybody should be able to have their own flex in their own way you know what i'm saying like absolutely if people want to say that my flex is paying thirty dollars a month uh, well, well, we all know that you're paying more than thirty dollars a month, don't we, Clue? Anywho, so <laughs> I forgot about the last conversation. I ain't gonna hold you. I completely <laughs> forgot that I already snitched on myself. But it's Let me okay. Raise my mic. Why am I like? I don't know. Why did you say that? <laughs> I mean, I'm. Uh, however, like, whatever man, makes you more better. comfortable. I know that the 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 chairs are. Uh, did you hear that? The chairs are a, a new. Uh, um, we're we're getting adjusted here, so I yeah, fully expect adjusted. for you to take some time, and maybe you won't be on the sofa. We definitely are getting adjusted. Would love to have a table that's about six inches higher, though. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I mean, I don't mind it. Just because, I mean, in this view, they can see everything mm -hmm. that's going on, but like. In y'all's view, y'all can't really see everything that's on the table. So I'm good with that because, like, these niggas, they know a lot more about us. <laughs> they think they do. They, I'm saying, they think they do. I'm they have no idea. Saying. But anyway, I'm just talking yeah. shit. 
Go ahead. You was about to say something. Go I ahead. wasn't. I was. I was. I. I just. I just tag along. With Our anniversary is coming up. It is. What day is? It? I'm explaining. You ain't got to tell me. Um, if you don't know, which apparently, um, he don't remember. Don't play me, baby. <laughs> don't play me. I know exactly when our anniversary is. Our anniversary is the day before another anniversary of mine. Isn't oh that specific? my goodness! Isn't that specific enough for you? That's not, baby. It's the fact that you you think that you got married on the same day you got deployed, or what? not deployed, but that you shipped out for boot camp. No, I said a day before another anniversary. The anniversary is the day that I deploy. Is that day that I shipped out? That's what I said. So you regularly confuse the two. No, I don't. I've confused the two before, but I don't regularly <laughs> do it. Like you be like you be using that regular word so regularly. Like how often I don't do you have to confuse your anniversary before it becomes a regular? Baby, habit. I got married on a certain day, so I wouldn't forget because I was like, shit. If one comes. Then I'm good. The other one comes, then I'm fucked. You feel me? I got three opportunities to remember. No, four. Early as hell like I should. The day before, like I'm oh shit. The day of where it's like you better pull some out your ass. And then the day after where I'm fucked. (laughs) I feel like that's logical. I wish I knew that that's the, the logic behind the day we got married. Yeah, that was definitely the logic behind it. <laughs> you I, be lying. I thought out everything. We were supposed to be. Uh, you be lying. We. I told her we had to do some uh, premarital counseling. We didn't have you to do that shit. You be lying. I told her we had to do it. I was like, baby, we got to do it before we get married, just so I can pause this for like one day. We were supposed to get married on the first. I was like, nah, baby, we got to do this. You be lying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stop talking. Anyway, we we do have an anniversary coming up, and um, I don't know what to get clue for our anniversary, and that's okay because I still have time. The thing about it is, like, I don't know why she acts like I'm so hard to shop for. I'm such a like, I don't have a style. Like, I really don't. I just wear what the fuck I want to wear. I mean. Like one day, you know what I'm saying? I'm dressed like this, but then tomorrow I might put on a it's fucking a whole kimono. Style. You know what I'm saying? I wore that fucking Japanese thing. And I, yeah, I'll throw that bitch on in a second. And then the next time I'm like. I thought oh, you shit. wore that for like Halloween. Oh, I wore it another time. I fucked it. Mm. God damn, we're not going to pop. Sorry. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I might throw on some Jordans. Sometimes I might throw on some fucking some boots. Sometimes I might. On some motherfucking flip flop, you know what I'm saying? Like, so would you say that like your personal style is how you got involved in hip hop, like this whole eclectic thing? Um, no, because honestly, my first, well, okay, you know what? Okay, okay, maybe, but I didn't realize it until later. So my first introductions into hip hop were the first two, like. I think of was Jay Z and Outkast. Yeah, and so when Outcast I had to, when I thought about exactly it, exactly what I think when I, when of when I, I thought I look about at you it, I was like, times. yeah, like you've been like, fucking with Erica Badu or something. Because yeah, I've been eating red <laughs> dirt. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here, but like I had to think about it because like yeah, like I mean, but and, and that's and I I didn't think I actually started. It wasn't until my Pharrell Lupe Fiasco Neptune's phase that I could actually start buying my own clothes. Mm-hmm. So that's why I always associated my style with something more of that. But yeah, it was my style was definitely influenced by Andre 3000 and you know, even Jay-Z. I mean, I used to love wearing fucking um I used to love I I used to like try to beg my mom to give me a nice fucking sports coat with some jeans and some forces. Because he made that shit look cool. Did he? It was retarded looking, looking back at it. It was pretty bad. But it was clean, though, at the same time, though. It was like, he was like, man, I'm going to make this business shit look gangster. And I was like, I ain't no gangster, but. I fucked with it. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was different. It was different. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he he did, like, him and Allen Iverson. (coughs) I think Jay-Z started it. Not saying nothing, except for that was like a real old man smoker cough. 
<laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's so how I heard that's gonna, it. Look, look at the way that shit is gonna look so crazy. That is going to sound crazy on the playback. I can't wait until I hear that. They gonna be like, oh shit. They yeah. gonna clip that shit up. You like it. <laughs> Hey, if y'all clip up my baby doing that shit and y'all put that on some type of website called Old Man Smoker Call, y'all better run her that motherfucking check. Because we coming for y'all. I know my baby's voice. <laughs> That's terrible. But yeah. You know, along those lines, I was I was having this conversation earlier today in my stream about like the transitions that my voice has gone through and mm -hmm. I used to have like a really nasally voice. And not to say that like I still have like a nasally voice, but it's, um, as I learn the, the physiological movements of my vocal cords and I remember things like my affirmation to release the tension and I put into practice things that I'm learning into from speech. Shout out to Kurt, my speech language pathologist. <laughs> um, I think that I don't like this new voice. <laughs> well, I mean, I personally think it's just one of many in your arsenal. Yeah. You feel me? Because I feel like, you know, a lot of people always be like, why do you always be like, like, I talk low a lot of times. And a lot, and it frustrates a lot of people. But there was a time in which I had to talk loud all the time. Mm -hmm. And is what I had to do. So it's like, once you get to that point, I decided to put that part of my voice away. And now it's like, okay, let me, let me re-explain. <laughs> I'm not going to say like, I don't get loud anymore. It's not like that, but it's usually for me, like right now, a lot of people might be like, Oh, he's just talking. I'm actually really pushing this out. I want y'all to really know that like, I am putting an effort to say the what what was it? I'm putting an Aaron, effort to say these words. Aaron, Aaron, and Aaron sh Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was he was like, is that how the fuck we sound? Aaron, 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 Aaron. But not for real. I'm really like trying to like really push this out because usually my regular toys, I'm just like yeah, you do. You tend I, to you know, to mumble a lot more. Um, well, actually, I think you mumble a lot less since um, uh, my voice issues. Like you're much more assertive. I think it's because I have to be. Because you know, like, yeah, I think I think it's well. I think you know, and it's funny because I feel like it's only the people that love me that can't hear me. <laughs> and, I, and I and I'm just gonna say that Speak in a up. way. I really think there's the people that love me that can't hear me. Shout out to my wife. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my sisters. It's all women. I love y'all, but it's only y'all. Don't nobody else tell me that I mumble. And maybe I just mumble to y'all. I don't know. I don't know. And that's what's actually really weird. And that and that's you know saying like it might that might actually be a thing. Like maybe I feel like there's no need to talk loud to y'all women. So it's like why am I gonna talk loud? It's like, like, you know what I'm saying? Until we, like, that's different, Shay. Okay, okay, she's trying to act funny. What what she's alluding to is like, there's no, we be arguing, like, we be getting in arguments and shit. All I want to do. And then, like, there be afflictions in my voice. Is hover. And in hers as well. Around the part where you said, there's no need to talk loud to you, women. There is no need. But at times, shit happens, and I take it. I take responsibility for said shit. But understand that a nigga, a nigga do be trying. A nigga do be trying. Okay, but when it, it, one of the tools that I want you to use in your arsenal the next time oh, that you're no, trying is this fl flex that memory. On the moment in which you said, there's no need to be yelling at this beautiful, amazing, soft, feminine creature that I call my wife. 
Who was the female rapper that said or coined the phrase, I'm not going back and forth with you niggas? <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure it was some, it was a female MC. I cannot think of her name, but whoever she was, God bless her heart. Because I'm gonna take that line. Are you sure it was a woman? I'm pretty sure it, there ain't no nigga that would have said I'm not going back and forth. Maybe Drake. That's a real feminine. That's a real feminine line. I'm not going back and forth with you niggas. The guy who sang "I'm Living My Best Life" said, "I ain't going back and forth with you oh, niggas." Oh shit! That is him. <laughs> oh shit! I done call Lil Duval feminine. My bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that wasn't even on purpose. I was like, that's a Drake ass line. That's I'm a living Drake my best life. <laughs> All right, okay, Lil Duval is a little different because he's a comedian. But no, like, rapper is going to say some shit like that, in my personal opinion. Okay, honey. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. But if they did, they'd be female. And if they did, because I'm pretty sure some female said it. And either way, my point is. I say it all the time, but I got it for a man. No, don't start don't no shit. Don't start no, no shit. shit. Won't be no shit. Like, I don't understand. This is, this is I'm currently in, in my don't start no shit, won't be no shit phase of life. Because like, I also learned that like I'm a gat toting pistol hold nigga on your damn street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just like, because like. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, just leave me be. And then and you, you said, like, North Carolina. <laughs> and listen, let me tell you something about Pity Pablo, man. Let me tell you something about Pity Pablo, man. It's a motherfucking anthem, and I'm a, and I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop that beat. I'm a, I'm gonna reserve that bitch. That was one of the ones that I lost when the shit happened. I'm gonna bring that shit back, and uh, I'm gonna drop that shit. <laughs> you lost it when the shit happened. You just laughed at when my shit crashed. No, no. <laughs> You are a terrible person. <laughs> Yo, she is cracking up, yo. Like, she was just like, when your shit crash. <laughs> it's just so funny because I remember when that happened. Not, it wasn't funny when it happened. That was not funny, guys. If you know, if you were there. It, what is it? If you know, you know. She's terrible, y'all. She's Terrible. Oh my goodness. But nah, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Pity hey, Pity Pablo, man, like I I, I look back and um I look I look back at a lot of his shit and a lot of the shit that he died. I was like, yeah, like he was really doing some things, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people a lot of people kinda like I feel like that's a black thing where eventually we start Hating on shit that we thought was cool at one time. I mean, I wasn't hating on it. As soon as no, I found out that you were from North Carolina. I'm not talking about you. When I'm I talking find about out people, anyone's I'm, from I'm North about, Carolina. I'm talking about people from North Carolina. Oh. Because there was a there was a point in time where it kind of got corny to me. And then, no, for real. Like, there was a point in time where it was my shit. It was a point in time where it was my shit, but it was. But then it gets to a point in time when you, you know, what I'm saying when you travel, and that's the only way people associate with you. But then it's also like, you look at situations like California Love, or you look at uh, Sweet Home Alabama, or you look at uh, uh, um, Georgia on My Mind, or you look at the fifty thousand fucking New York anthems that we have out there. Right? Shout out to Scarlet or it's Area New York, Code. Get the fuck out. Back the fuck up. Get the fuck out. Oh. Back the fuck up. Yo, yo, yo. Scarlet is that <laughs> shit. Yo, have you seen that shit? Yo. She was like, this is New York. Yo, she was going the fuck off. Like, she yo, looked yo, yo, crazy. Yo, yo, yo. Crazy. Yeah. It looked crazy but, when uh, you did it. But yeah, like, all these places. Is there a Chicago anthem? I'm sure. What's the Happy Chicago? Happy it? Is it the GD anthem? <laughs> is, it the, is it the GD anthem? Is that the Chicago no anthem? Idea. Um, it was it was probably um it was probably some R. Kelly shit. Yeah. It was probably some R. Kelly shit. Yeah. Chicago, I'm sorry. Y'all got fucked. No. So what have you seen that that um R. Kelly got I mean Char, Char, Chicago got fucked. I don't think so. They got a blemish forever. You can't you can't blame an entire city on one man's actions. Yeah, you can when the majority of the city was watching that nigga do it. <laughs> All the niggas, was, all the niggas was sitting there talking some. Hey, and I remember when R. Kelly was out there. I remember when that nigga was sitting out there waiting for them people to walk by. That shit did look weird. Honestly, I ain't gonna. No, I'm not. But I'm just gonna stop there. Yeah, you are not playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anywho. 
I'm good. You don't look good. I'm good, baby. We good. We in there. Don't worry, it's just the dog. There are no intruders in our home. We are safe. What's up, Jigs? Happy Friday to you all. All right, that took me up. Is he good? I knew this was happening. <laughs> I literally knew you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was already like, I don't even know why I've even sitting in this room with my door closed. Man, listen, y'all. In a real way, this is actually going to get a little serious, but I'm not going to make it too deep. I cannot feel comfortable just sitting in my home anymore. Like, like I, I feel like after what happened to both and John, both and John, I, I always hope I be saying his name right. I always feel like that nigga was sitting in his motherfucking house eating some goddamn ice cream in his drawers. Yeah, eating some goddamn ice cream in his house, and he got shot by the cops. And well, I, always, I mean. He was shot by an off-duty police officer, not by the cops. He was shot by an officer. He was shot by the cops. I don't give it. Off-duty, on-duty, forgot about duty, late for duty. Like She just was a regular white girl. She covered it up by saying that she, she covered it up by trying to act like she was a cop. She had just got off duty. She swore up and down that she was that she was so tired that she walked in and she thought it was a burglar. So she responded. You were in the wrong house. Yeah. I couldn't sit on my couch for months without having my shit beside me. Yeah. Because I was like, let a motherfucker walk up in here. I don't give a fuck what you look like. I don't care if the, if the cops run up in my spot and, and be, uh, oh, it was an accidental raid. Well, I guess I'm dead because I shot one of the cops that came through my door. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy. And I'm not I'm not trying to condone police violence. It doesn't sound violence. crazy. Well, it I'm, totally but, sounds but like I, you're defending your home. But I want to be real. I'm not trying to condone police violence. And I want to even be real with y'all. My father was a police officer between the, between the military and outside of that, between the Santa Fe and all this other shit for almost 50 years. He's had law enforcement under his belt. So it's not like any type of way like I am trying to condone the violence and shit. But some of y'all niggas be fucking tripping. And that's just where the fuck I'm going to leave it. Yeah. That shit is wild. I had to get that off my chest because what the fuck is going on outside my door? I did not know my dog was not in his <laughs> <laughs> You say all that to say that now the studio is secure. <laughs> we scared the bitch. <laughs> and I feel safer. I feel safe whenever I'm around you, and that's all that matters. Already, you gotta have to fuck up and do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying, man? It doesn't even matter Shout if out you to are in full fucking stroke. You just gotta oh, hop up and do what you gotta do. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's get to that. No, no, we don't <laughs> have to. But that did happen this week. There's been a lot of you shit that said, has happened this week. You just said let's not talk about it, but it did happen <laughs> this week. No, we're gonna talk about it, y'all. We're gonna talk about what actually happened, y'all. So this shit is actually really funny. So I'm just gonna keep it real. Like I was I was getting I was <laughs> <laughs> Now listen. Don't get too liberal in that chair, buddy. Yeah, you right. You right. <laughs> Let me chill out. We still stressed out these chairs. Let me chill out. But no, I was in that motherfucker, you know, hey, hey, hey. And then all of a sudden, so my dog, he usually, when I'm home, and I'm going to make that caveat, when I'm home, he only barks when somebody's either one at the door or two worse. Now, it's never been worse, granted. <laughs> but he usually only he barks for a reason when I'm home. That's my point, right? Yeah, when I'm at home, he just barks. He just barks for no me. reason, right? So it's like, 
But there's a difference between a er, er, somebody's at the door and this nigga was er, 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 er. so I'm just like, what the fuck? And right? I'm like, when I tell you, I'm like, I'm like, I'm deep in that shit. Like, I'm in that motherfucker. Like, I'm about to, yeah, you know, she about to, yeah, you know, and like the barking going on, and she could like feel me slowing up a little bit. And she was like, you better you fucking do not. Do not, don't. Stop. That ain't how you said it. I said she, said. she said, you better fucking not. And I was just like, <laughs> baby, I'm sorry, but I think there's niggas in the house. Like, do you even think I can make that sound? And I hopped the I fuck was up. like, do not stop, Clue. And I and I had to hop up. I had to hop up. What's going on, Pop? I had to hop up and I glad I grabbed a blamey. I came down. I told her by the time I was halfway down the hallway, my shit wasn't even hard no more. I was like, because I was already in seek and kill mode. So I done, went, I done went around the corner, seen there wasn't nothing, cursed my dog out, because I was like, what the fuck is your problem? Well, actually, it was something. There was a package. Yeah. It was a package. But he was going too, he was going too hard. He was going way too hard, because but, it wasn't a package bark. It was like, daddy, come get this nigga. Open the kennel <laughs> this so I in can get house. him. <laughs> this nigga's in the house. That's what I thought, man. Like, I thought it was game time. Like, I thought it was game time. You I know was like... Uh, so devastated but the best part about this young fine bull talk to him baby <laughs> what's the best part is that he can be coaxed back into anything oh I ain't had to be coaxed bullshit <laughs> I ain't had to be coaxed I came back and did what I had to do what you talking about I came back and was like alright well, where was we <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> nah, I ain't had to be coach. I ain't gonna lie. I thought the vibe. I thought we was. De- I thought the vibe was done. I thought I was just like, well, you fucked that up, Gary. It at least it, it looked good. Like at least you know what I'm saying. Like you. And then she was like, nigga, what the fuck you thought? Like you ain't gonna finish. And I was just like, oh. No, nothing. <laughs> and I just was, just was just like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Was that? I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, I think that that's the important lesson is that you shouldn't assume anything. You know what I assume else about you this week? I was talking about uh, back on music. We were talking about, I think I said uh, we should start listening to the shit that we were listening to. Hopefully I'm not touching this mic. Oh, yeah, you did say that. I was like, we should start listening to the shit that we were listening to when when we met. And she was like, what makes you think I don't listen to the shit that we listen? I ain't never stopped. And I was like, well, shit, I guess I need to start listening to it. Because well, I played some Alex Isley, and I was like, I heard that shit in a minute. Actually, I'm going to play some Alex Isley right now. You it, was, it was one of those kind of things where it's like, that's like, like, I remind myself all the time that I fell in love to you listening to these songs. Fell in love to be? Fell in love to you. Fell in love to be? I fell in love with you. Is that no? That's not what you just said. I said with. That's not I meant said. with. Like you don't have to. Like <laughs> always. Everybody here ha- is feeling relaxed and feeling good, and and. Maybe you would have done the same thing to me. We'll never know. We will. As soon as we get back from this commercial break. We have a commercial break. We did just then. Welcome back from the commercial break. Clue Don, Pisces Princess, here with another Freestyle Friday. Thank y'all. Um, we probably won't be on here on much longer. I'm not going to lie with y'all. Um, she might continue to stream. I don't know. Um, whatever. But either way, what it is. Um, so we're still trying to figure out a few little things. Um, we're in a new studio. So essentially what it is is that new studio. We're in a new yeah, we're in a new studio, so we're in a new area, and the connection wasn't as good. Because as I, as if y'all don't know, I do majority of my recording on my phone because I got a really good phone, so I can do really good recording, and I have to buy it by the camera. But sometimes when you're live, your recordings are only as good as um, the connection. Absolutely. So that's why this recording looks ten times better than what you would have seen elsewhere because yeah. Because we're not live right now. Although we are live here. We're yeah. not live um on YouTube. What I also would like to to reiterate as always is that it is my absolute joy and pleasure to do Freestyle Friday with you every week. 
you get on my last fucking nerve. Facts. And oh, what? Yeah, uh, facts. <laughs> uh, and it's only because I genuinely appreciate how much love and care you give our baby. Big facts. Um, you know, it's like country fan mail is Pisces' stepchild. <laughs> And, you know, it took a lot, really, you know what I'm saying, for me to really accept her into my child's life. Oh, my God. It took about two years. <laughs> <laughs> she would she would be around and shit, and I would bring, you know, we I slowly introduced them and stuff like that, and they would be around, and I was just like, you know, there's going to be your stepmom one day, and then, you know what I'm saying? Except and, we were already married. But... That part's <laughs> different though. Still was like that part's different, this is though. my child and you don't need to worry about what's going on over here. Nah, that part was different. I was the what I what I actually said was either you're all in or you're not in at all. And 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 I and at first I feel like it came off disrespectful. But then I feel like after a year and a half, I think it came off like I need to be all in with that shit because I've always been all in. And once you were all in, it really started to make sense. Once you were like, I'm all in, I was just like, all right, EP, let's fucking go. He's so full of shit. That was your title for the beginning. I sound like an ain't shit step parent if it took me two years to be all in. No, it's not like that because it's- Like, I've always supported you and your child. But see, it's- It's it's different. No, but see, it's it's different though because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, Okay. It's, it's like this. So, you always supported me and my child. Yeah. Just like, say, I've always supported you and your children. Right? Okay. I mean, have I have I not? Yeah, you support us. So, I feel, but, but with our relationships as they grew, things started to become a lot more solidified. Like... It wasn't, I didn't realize just the gravity of the weight and the things that I did until I received the certain gifts that I did. Mm-hmm. Right? And then I'm, but that was just like that, about two years into it. I'm just kind of, you're just like, yeah, you've been here. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when okay, I was but like, like. So the difference is, is like, like that's what, when a kid, kids take forever to fucking recognize people that, that are in their lives. Like that, that just, that's an anomaly. What's the difference between the within the podcast, baby? Because is the podcast been... gonna recognize me? Aren't you the EP? Oh, that's what I I'm thought sa- that that's was what I'm you saying. recognizing. No, that's no. This is your contribution to. You're not my EP because you're my wife or no, because I fuck I'm with not. you. That's what I'm saying. Like that. That would be me recognizing you. Okay. You're you are the title of EP because of the the contributions and the work that you've been putting in the country fan mail beforehand and the oh, dedication okay, that you okay. wanted to put but in. But you were the stepdad because you were fucking the mom. Just so that we're clear. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, <laughs> for sure. And you was like you was like the uh, you was like the live in girlfriend with country family. Get out of here. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. That's that I'm just fucking with y'all. Y'all know that's disrespectful, yeah. But no, for real, it did. It did take some time because I was, um, you know, and I and I don't want to. I'm not gonna get into details, but when people help you out while you're on in on the process, when you're in the process of figuring shit out, when people are there at those points, they try to take credit for everything that you've done, mm-hmm. and that happened before, and I was kind of like, I'm never gonna discredit. The thing that this, you know, what I'm saying what happened, but it's also like, but don't get it twisted. Like, this was a very small piece of every, you know, said everything else that went on. So yeah, it's there's like, a lot that happened. There's a lot that happens, right? So I had to come to a place and an understanding that you don't want anything from me. I mean, I do. I mean, but that's not. I'm talking about business. You know what I want? <sighs> Country family podcast. <laughs> After dark. <laughs> oh shit! Stay with me. We about to get nasty. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um. This has been fun. Yeah, let's sign out of here. Um, you about to keep streaming? I don't know yet. All right, she'll probably pop on with um on her other phone. We on the iPad right now. So, yeah, Country Family Podcast. Clue to Don. 
You can find me on Instagram at K L U E D A D O N underscore Big Verified. If you haven't already, make sure that you follow me there. You can also follow me on I have my eyes closed because I'm trying to really read it in my head. You can follow me on Twitter at K L U E D A M F D O N. Big Verified on there. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the podcast, Country Fan Mail Podcast, K O U N T R Y space F A N space. M A I L space P O D C A S T. Ooh, and you can find your girl Pisces on all the socials at the exact same place. <laughs> all the socials. Uh, I do have a new um, YouTube channel which will be having content coming. And for those of you who are wondering what kind of content could possibly go on Pisces Princess's YouTube channel, you already know. It's in the house type shit and relationship and love. And if you don't like it, your mom's a hoe. Okay. <laughs> All right, and we out of here. Y'all take care. Not they mama hoe. <laughs>